bronchial thermoplasty now. What is that and when is that ever indicated? So we start thinking, so if you have a moderate severe persistent asthma on good medications, but yet they're frequently in the office, flared up, they're in the emergency room, they're hospitalized, you have to start thinking, okay, what else can I do? And we talked about anti-IL-5, there are some other uh, monoclonal antibodies for other things, IgE, a thing called Zolaire. But there's another thing we have that's not a medication. It's not a monoclonal antibody, it's bronchial thermoplasty. So it's where you take a bronchoscope and you put the patient to sleep, general anesthesia, go into the lung, and we induce a thermal injury, which doesn't do anything for the inflammation as much as it does the smooth muscle cells. We got these big muscular smooth muscle cells. Well, we don't really need big muscular smooth muscle cells. And what it does is it injures those, and so they're not, they're not as potent when they constrict, and so we, we have less exacerbations. It doesn't come without a risk. There's a significant increased risk of an asthma exacerbation peri procedure, and some of those patients get hospitalized uh, after the procedure. It's multiple procedures, it's a bronchoscopy, there's certainly some cost associated with it. I've seen really good responses to it, and I've seen some that didn't. So that's another one we need the phenotype that responds best, the face that re responds best to bronchial thermoplasty. So what I'm hearing you say basically is the worse the asthma gets, the more medicines and types of treatment we have to get the patient better that we didn't have too many years ago. So if somebody's got chronic asthma, coughing, wheezing in the emergency room, in the doctor's office frequently, know that there are medicines for them. Um, Phil Jones, you're a great teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming to the Dr. Bob Show and telling us that if you have severe asthma, there's treatment out there that can get you better and uh, keep you out of the hospital.